When's, when's Owen going to get his phone? We told him when he's responsible enough, um, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll contemplate it. But he's got to treat his sister nicer, you know, <laughs> like carry on with more chores and stuff us first. Make and he was like, okay, I think I'm good then. So back in the station, Kyle Larson, a uh, residential, as we call him, of course, now living in uh, Phoenix. Yeah. And I heard Eli Tomac is actually building a house in that state. What the hell is so attractive to motorsports fiends to live in Phoenix now? I don't know. I heard that, too. I went to the Supercross race uh, they had here at Glen. And yeah, I was talking to somebody, and I heard that he was building up somewhere by me. So, mm -hmm. um yeah, I don't. I don't know. I like. I like the weather. I like the food. I like the activities. I. I just like everything. So, um, yeah, I, I enjoy it. We we only have a few more weeks left here in the back to North Carolina for the majority of the year. So, um, trying to enjoy the last bit of great weather that I'll get to experience. See, probably. he does it right. See, Paul Tracy doesn't have that luxury, or Ari Lyon doesn't have that luxury. You do it right. You're here in the winter months when the weather here is perfect. Then right before it gets it's hot you get out and you go to the carolinas perfect yeah but the carolinas i feel like are really bad too in the summer months just with the humidity and stuff oh, but uh, just i mean for me it makes more sense to get to north carolina now or here soon because my racing gets picking up and you know most of it's on the east coast so um it would be hard for me to race as much as i do and, and commute from phoenix Kyle, it's it's been fun watching the development of not just you but tyler and younger drivers include their family in their mm -hmm. celebrations dale jarrett dale senior ricky rudd i could go back and forth where it was like nope the wife and the kids stay over here let me grab this trophy and the cake and then go home <laughs> it, you don't even have second thoughts about including your family in everything you do do you well i don't know if i have a choice <laughs> <laughs> uh, i didn't yeah I, Owen was already sprinting out to the car last <laughs> week. Um, I didn't even know it. Jamie Little was like, hey, look over there. You know, Owen's, Owen's running out here. But no, I, I mean, I think it's really cool. And I'm glad that, you know, my team allows them to, you know, celebrate. NASCAR allows them to celebrate with us because, you know, I sacrifice a lot of time away from them, you know, to, to live out this career, this, you know, love that I have for racing. And um, so, yeah, I, I, did, I get to miss out on a lot of time for them and, uh, or with them. So, you know, when they're at the racetrack and I win, like it's a, it, it means a lot to me to, to celebrate with them and, and have them build those memories and mm -hmm. enjoy it. So that was really cool. Vegas last week, Owen was pumped. And, you know, even this week during the week, they kept showing and I'm like, Oh, and look, <laughs> they're <laughs> talking about you right now. So he thinks he's, uh, he thinks he's famous. Crasher, hold on one second. I, I knowing you for so long, I get the feeling that that tears at you being away from your family so much. You have this desire to race everything under, under the moon, but the love you have for your family is this tearing at you, isn't it? Um, I mean, sure. Yeah. I, I would, I wish there was more days in the week or, or less races sometimes for me to run. Um, but I don't know. It's, it's hard to answer it because yes, I mean, I wish I was there, but I also don't want to miss out on racing either mm. because I feel like, you know, right now, like, I'm young and, and you know, this is my prime and I'm trying to take advantage of that. And, and it, and with that does take a lot of sacrifice, you know, away from other things. Mm -hmm. Um, but my family understands that I understand that, you know, I want to be the best race car driver I can be as well as, you know, father and parent, but, um, you know, this is what pays the bills and I need to, you know, if I want to set them up for you know, their <laughs> their lives and and hopefully their children's lives, you know, I need to work my ass right now and and you know, race and and build my brand and mm -hmm. you know, hopefully make a bunch of money. How much of what you're doing right now in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, this is going to translate to when Owen gets to this level if he wants to get to this level. How much are you ever thinking about the evolution of the next generation for you? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Owen's nine, and uh, he's definitely not into racing as much as I was at that age. You know, okay. I. I mean, all I cared about still to this day um, was racing and, um, you know, and I, and I don't, it doesn't upset me at all that yeah. he doesn't like, he likes it and he, he likes to race when he wants to race and all that. But like, you know, I was racing video games like all day long, playing with my race cars on the ground, you know, all day long. He's into other stuff, you know, he's into more sports and, you know, baseball, flag football, 
you know, skating, whatever, which is, which I think really, because that's stuff that, you know, if I could change something about my childhood and still know that I was going to be in the same position I am right now, I would have experienced more like normal kid things hmm. back then. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't bother me that he's not like obsessed with racing either. So, um, cause I just, I mean, I don't want him to feel like you know, he's just because I do it, um, that he has to. Now, what about the business side of everything? You've got high limits. You've got a racetrack. How do you find balance with everything? Well, I've got good people around me that uh, that do most of the heavy lifting on everything. Um, so that's nice. You know, like my manager JP, he's uh, I keep him running. Like he's super busy with everything that I've got going on. And then on the high limits, you know, JP is a really big part of that. And um, you know, Brad, it's more, you know, kind of Brad on the day-to-day -day things, but we have a great team at High Limit with Kendra Jacobs, Brian Walker, Mike Hess, and everybody else, you know, within that, you know, and Flo, they, they hold a, you know, high responsibility there as well. So, you know, I am a part of meetings when I can be a part of them and, and offer ideas when I can. And, and I'm, and I'm, you know, on a lot of the group texts and stuff that we have one. So I'm not in every meeting. So it's, it's not, it's not too different for me. <laughs> when's, when's Owen going to get his phone? We told him when he's responsible enough, um, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll contemplate it. But he's got to treat his sister nicer, you know, <laughs> like carry on with more chores and stuff first. Make and he was like, okay, I think I'm good then. I, I'll wait a little bit. So, um, <laughs> yeah, because it, it stinks because like so some of his friends have cell phones already and they're like nine or ten and like, I don't know. That just seems way too young for me. And, and we do a good job like of not really letting them have their iPads and stuff only for like flying. Um, so like, yeah, I mean, I feel like they live more normal than you know, most kids their age do. You know, they're outside playing all the time, which is good. So, um, outside yeah, like, play. I just hear that correctly. Yeah. Yes. I, I like a lot of kids just, it sucks staring at their iPads all the time. So one last thing have things been smoothed over between high limit and world about laws uh we felt like we were having to defend it on the show one night yeah i, I don't know i mean we haven't really like i don't know had conversations or but there have been i don't know at least my eyes i don't think that like they've done anything to us or we've done anything to them either so we're kind of just both staying in lanes and right um you know maybe they don't feel we are i guess but uh I don't know. I mean, it's don't it's we compliment just, each other. That's what I'm just gonna say. I feel like we do, but I think I think fans more read into it than than what World Racing Group or or yeah. we do. You know, I think they try to That's like true. you know feed some drama more than there actually is. So um, we all have the greater you know sp you know idea and you know for the sport and where we want it to get. So. Mm -hmm. You were both trying to move the sport in the same direction. So um, it just looks a little differently. And, and we're brand new. So we're trying to kind of find our way a little bit and, and do things differently. And, um, you know, the World Racing Group, they've done an amazing job to get to, you know, the sports out right now. And um, I love the World Racing Group, World Outlaws. So um, that's why I'll continue to race World Outlaw events. Mm -hmm. and, and I'm not one like boycott something um and especially for benefit me in our series so you know my plan is to support smirk racing and mm -hmm. and all that and um you know although they may not say that they you know like us i don't think again like we're all both just staying focused on our goals you know world racing group price staying focused on their goals and we're staying focused on ours so. it will work you yeah. can coexist we i mean may. there's there's more traveling teams than there's been in decades and there's way more cool. money to race for so i don't I just don't see you know how it's had anything negative go on right yeah. now we made a big deal out of Thanksgiving dinner with you and Brad Sweet at the dinner table about you know, who would knock each other, each other from the table ago. a few years ago. Now with Tyler, let's put Tyler Reddick in the mix. You got Tyler, you got <laughs> Kyle, and you've got uh, Brad Sweet coming to the finish at Chili Bowl Nationals. And you had to knock one of them off for the win. Oh, we're going there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think Brad or Tyler would be battling up front of the Chili Bowl. So. <laughs> <laughs> and scene. No, we're both we're all three little short fellers. So uh, Tyler's definitely the most buff. Brad's probably got the most fighting experience. But uh, <laughs> you no, know. 
I would be up front at the Chili Bowl. I don't think they would. <laughs> oh, God. I've, I've, uh, we've crashed each other. We've done it. I was yeah, say I would say we've crashed it. each other once. Um, that was his fault. Mm-hmm. And then Chili Bowl and the race champions, I did spin him out because he, he was kind of, a, I had to go and he was, he was holding up a little bit. <laughs> Brother, as always, we know your time's valuable. Thanks for doing this, man. Yep. Thank you. Now that's a good looking tire from General Tire, the official tire of the ARCA Racing Series. You can't get that one on your hot rod, but you can get now through the end of April, four qualifying passenger tires and get up to 70 bucks back the Visa prepaid card. We can all use a little bit of cake in our wallet, in our purse, in our pockets, right? Four qualifying passenger tires get up to 70 bucks back from General Tire. General Tire over 20 years with the freaks and of course, General Tire delivers. The NASCAR Cup Series returns to Worldwide Technology Raceway on June 1st and 2nd, 2024. The time to get your tickets is now. Let's go! Yeah! For only $10 down, you can lock in your seats for an incredible weekend of family fun featuring the Enjoy Illinois 300 and the Confluence Music Festival. It all adds up to one amazing party. Go to www.raceway.com for the hottest ticket of the year.